guys, Rachel, and welcome back to the video. And today I am making a custom denim jacket, mostly because I saw this on TikTok, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I saw this trend on TikTok, but I think this has been a trend for a while before it like got onto TikTok. It's just I recently saw it on TikTok and like sold my soul to TikTok. So that's why we're making it today. Um, I had to come back from college in a bathroom in Minnesota and I like put all my stuff back in my closet and I realized, oh, I have two jean jackets. So you know what we have to do. Also, while I was making the denim jacket and customizing it, I made a TikTok of me like making the denim jacket and like when I posted it, it kind of popped off a little bit and I was like, what? But now it's like kind of plateaued. So I just thought I would share this information because it was exciting for like 20 minutes. Okay, so about the design of the denim jacket that I chose, I ended up choosing this Japanese architecture painting. It was like a print kind of, and I just like looked it up on Google and I thought it looked cool and it would transfer well to a denim jacket. So I was like, let's go with that. Who's this by again? This is by Shiro Kasamatsu. I just, I think it looks cool. When I was going through designs, I wanted to make sure that I had something that was still wearable. So it wasn't like too much or like too cartoony or anything like that, that like it wasn't the best to like wear outside or like to go meet people or anything. And I wanted to make sure like there wasn't too much on it. Like it wasn't all over the sleeves and like all over by the neck and stuff or like on the front because I just wanted it to be pretty simple. So it wasn't too uh, attention grabbing. So the few of the designs I actually went through was, I had this one design which was like two snakes going up the arms, like kind of winding around the arms. And I like designed this in Photoshop and just looking at it, it felt like it was too much, like it would draw too much attention. So I kind of scrapped that. I had another design where it was just like a big lion head on the back and I felt like it was almost too cliche, like I've seen that before. And it kind of felt like a biker jacket almost and I just wasn't a fan. And then I remembered this vertical Japanese artwork that I had seen like a few years ago in like YouTube videos and stuff. And I knew that that would kind of transfer, transfer really well to a jean jacket. So I just looked up vertical Japanese artworks, did some research, looked a little bit farther and came across um, this sample. Another thing that's really nice about this sample is the background is already this like light blue. So it kind of blends in with the denim jacket a little bit. It makes it even more like not as in your face. So if y'all don't know, in order to dull a color with paint, you add its complementary color. The complementary color of blue is orange. But do I have orange? No, I have yellow and red. So we're gonna mix and match, boys. Hello? So when I was painting, I decided to use acrylics and I wasn't really sure what kind of paints you needed to use for denim jackets, so again, I just used Google, did some research, and um, asked what kind of paints I should use, and they said acrylics work just fine. Um, if you want to make it last even longer, so like your paint doesn't crack or anything, you can use like an acrylic primer or even a finisher so that it's a lot more durable and doesn't crack as much. Another thing that I learned as I was um, creating this custom denim jacket is that it takes a lot more paint than you think. I'm gonna do like pretty much the entire thing with this base coat since the background takes up a decent amount. It's just, it's gonna be like a little bit of a gloomier day because I don't wanna waste all my white, you know? Art is like subjective, you know? I'm kinda just trying to get it as far as I can with this blue because like the sidewalk is a different color so the bottom doesn't matter as much. It's weird because like the jean jacket like soaks up the paint way more than like a normal canvas would because with the amount of paint that I've used so far, I would have like covered an entire canvas like three times over, but this just like sucks it up, it's weird. I think that when you are painting on the denim, denim jacket, it like soaks in to the denim jacket and doesn't spread as nice as it would on like a canvas. So I had first mixed like this big batch of like blue gray for the sky. And I was like, oh, this is like way too much. And then I started painting it and like, I was running out towards the end and I didn't even like finish the whole thing. So it definitely like soaks into the den denim jacket. And if you ever try to make your own custom denim jacket, just know that yeah, it takes more paint than you think. Also, another thing is to, you probably wanna put like paper towels or something underneath because the moisture can 
kind of get onto what's underneath. Not very much, but um, the paint won't go through, but sometimes the moisture can. And the moisture that goes into the denim jacket can sometimes make it wrinkle a little bit, which kind of makes like a tough um, canvas to work on. So I, a lot of times I would just take my hands and kind of spread it as best as I could or hold it with one hand while I tried to get in the grooves of the wrinkles. Also, when you are going to put your colors on your custom ja jacket, know that the colors show up just a little bit darker um, on the denim jacket than they do when you mix them. I don't really know why. I assume it has something to do with the way the denim jacket absorbs the paint. Just know that it shows up a little bit darker. Not too much, just a little bit. So the first session that I had been working on this denim jacket, it was like, uh, it was at night. It was like eight o'clock and I was working on this denim jacket and I got like the sky done and like the ground done. And I was like, wow, this looks bad. <laughs> And I, I kind of lost faith for a little bit. I was like, I don't know if this is worth making a video for. And then the next day I just kept working at it, kept adding layers to it, um, adding like the fence and then eventually the building and the leaves and all that. And I kind of liked how it turned out in the end. It's not perfect, of course. It's definitely a new um, material that I'm working with because it's a lot harder to work on denim than it is on a canvas. So for being an entirely new material and for doing something that I haven't tried before. I actually like how it turned out. Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna wear this denim jacket over like my plain denim jacket, but like it's there if I want it. All right guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little look into my custom denim jacket and how I went about it. I actually like how it turned out despite all of my hardships in creating this. But if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like this, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see next on my channel. Um, don't forget to turn on post notifications. I know a lot of people don't have them on, um, but if you have post notifications on, you also get to know when I'm live streaming and I've started doing more live streams where I take you guys through the process of my heroic card designs and kind of just answer questions and stuff. So turn on post notifications and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome art videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.